Hey there, lovely soul. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Infinity, and this is your Virgo full moon reading for April 2021. It is actually the 26th today. It is the full moon right now. We're getting started with the Moonology Oracle. If you're unfamiliar with me, again, I'm Infinity. I am a shaman mystic medical medium, psychic, physical empath, and distance energy healer, channeler, medium, psychic, <clears throat> uh, messenger, and divinely guided artist. My website is thehealingbutterfly.org where you can find my podcast, my ebooks, information on me, of course, all the services that I provide between uh, Tarot and Oracle, private meditation, of course, energy healing. I offer ascension coaching. Um, I work with people and animals worldwide. So please check out my website for more information. And right now I have a special going on for Mother's Day through the 15th. It's for mediumship. Awesome deal. So please check out the information below. And I have a video about it too. So you can check out that video about it. Okay, let's get into it, Virgo. Nothing is yet set in stone actually really love this card Virgo because um it shows that you are still in process of figuring things out and things are in process of being revealed to you and you're still um or you're in a phase of contemplation of of reflection um and kind of waiting to waiting to see this is good though this is good you're you're allowing for um you're allowing for the process to or the yeah the process the cycle all right let's see what we got here release with Azriel, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Awesome. Card number 13. 13 is a very, um, very important number speaking to, um, not only divine connection, but to, but to change again, transformation talks about transformation, about spiritual transformation here. Um, the end of a phase or a situation. So something is changing. Something is, um, coming to a close, coming to an end for you. Um, and but the beginning of something is still being formed so you're kind of in i feel like an in-between stage is what i'm kind of picking up on here for you and in between stage let's get some archangel oracle cards here oh that's a flyer a couple of flyers here coming out together what do we have we have breathe with Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So breathing, meditating, working with your energy. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling like you're kind of being pulled in different directions, stop slow down the world for yourself we have the power to do that we're the ones that that let ourselves feel rushed and have stress and feel like we need to press and make decisions and have answers and and really a lot of that is on us we need to release that release those pressures by allowing for time for breath to come in and and be part of your of your presence uh, and your present um so we got released there 
victory with Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So you've had questions. You're wondering things. You're contemplative. You're in a mode of discovery. And so basically what I'm getting here is just the fact that you're kind of slowing things down that you're open to whatever this new information new situation new new thing that's happening um within yourself i feel this is very internal and you are kind of looking at the world to align things with let's see what else we get here with the archangel oracle i'm being told to get into relationship harmony with raguel we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts conflicts are being resolved now so if there's been separation if there's been conflict if there's been relationship issues with with um loved ones family members a oh my gosh this bug with um with anybody that you're you know very close to but there has been separation what it's showing me here is that there is a reunion there is a um coming together it may not be tomorrow um but we have victory we have breathe we have release we have nothing is yet set in stone so things aren't done it isn't cut and dry on any shape or in any way um this is also the relationship with you and your own soul with your own destiny with your acceptance of of there being more more for you than what may have met the eye in you know the in your world um I want to go to, we're being pulled to the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Um, this is a really awesome deck. It's pretty, pretty new to me. Um, and it's very different than regular tarot. It's kind of set up. I feel like it's kind of like Oracle slash tarot, but it's called tarot. It has a different number of cards, different way that it that it um, is set up, just different, very different with the Major Arcana and all sorts of stuff about it. It's very, very different. Whoa, ki kitty. Hi. What are we doing? This is Little Bear. Hi. What are you doing here? She doesn't usually do that. Can we go over there? Oh, you want to say hi to me? Hi. Okay, go. She's not one of my ones that loves kisses on the face. Okay, got some cards being pulled out here. Guided to pull those cards. We have a few cards here. Let's see what we get. Love coming up first. Intuition second. Six of Cups. Seven of Swords. And the Maiden. Nice. Oh, I love this Virgo. And one more. Ace of Earth. Oh, yay. Okay, let's take a look here. Let me show you your cards, Virgo. So we have love. Intuition. The Six of Cups. So pretty. The uh, Seven of Swords. The Maiden. And the Ace of Earth with that awesome dragon. Oh boy, Virgo. Okay. So yeah. Um I want to get right in. I'm really feeling let's get into this love card. We need to hear about this love card a little bit. 
So it's the 12th card of the Major Arcana for this. Are you okay? Wow. Hi. There it is. Okay. Love, infatuation, love for self, confidence, love of life, expansion. Experience love in all forms. Love is multifaceted. Your love will shape you or break you. A past love re-enters your life. A love that deserves a second chance. Is it love or infatuation? How do you feel about yourself? Honor your body as your temple. Stop making comparisons. Make time to love and nurture yourself. Love and enjoy your uniqueness. Do not... Oh, sorry. Do what your, makes your heart sing. Open your heart to new loves. And meaning, the fourth reason for being is to experience love in all its form. From codependent, the need-based love, to big, unconditional, universal love, and to understand that love comes in many different forms and guises. There is the innocent, trusting love that a child has for a parent, and the unconditional love a parent has for a child. There is the love one has for self and the love one has for others. There is the love we feel when we do the things we love. The love we feel when others appreciate what we do. There is our love for our family. Love for community. Love for nature. Love for the gods we choose to worship. Whether those gods be born of science or religion or the humans we choose to idolize. There is sexual love, platonic love, playful, affectionate love, selfless love, crazy love, and more. We are here to learn that love is a multi, as multifaceted as we are and that love is neither intrinsically good nor bad. Love is a cosmic force that will shape us or break us depending on how we choose to experience it. And just as we have a choice in what we experience we have a choice in how we perceive and experience love and in the present position here So it says, when love, the love card appears in the present position, it speaks to an important role love plays in our day-to-day -day lives. How you feel about yourself in the present will shape your relationships for both yourself and others. It can either motivate or prevent you from following your dreams and nurturing your passions. It will influence all that you endeavor. The presence of the love card in this position asks, how do you feel about yourself? When you look in the mirror, do you like the person staring back at you? Or do your eyes slide away as quickly as possible? What are the words that whisper in your mind as your eyes meet, if they meet at all? If you cannot look at yourself in the eyes and like what you see, do, do you then seek what you cannot give to yourself from others? Do you try to hide your own lack of love for self by being loving and nurturing to others? If so, why do you feel unworthy when you are most wor worthy person of them all? Okay, so it's it's a lot longer than that. I'm not going to read it all. But so what I'm feeling here with this love card is that it's like you you're like who am i even like i feel love for myself but i'm still figuring out who i am what my place is again not, nothing is yet set in stone relationship harmony i feel like this is relationship harmony with you too um really a lot um with this love card it's like you were born in a body to experience this life, to have this journey, to have, you know, we have a purpose, we have a destiny. How we move through that is our choice. Um, and then we have intuition. So you're somebody that's highly psychic, feels a lot of love, is very emotional, but you're also Virgo. Says, I love these two cards together. These two cards really paint a very, very awesome picture of what is internal within you Virgo because we have the thinker we have this you know the book the thinker he's spiritual though he's connected he's spiritual he's intuitive but he's um he can be very logical and very um 
decisive here. We have the six of, of water really coming in um, as this um, I'm hearing balancing emotions, balancing emotions with the logical, these two cards together. And then the maiden, the maiden representing um, beginnings, um, coming into yourself, learning about yourself. The maiden, so the maiden is the, so we have the maiden, the mother, the crone. So the maiden, so regardless of your gender, the maiden is representing the first stage after adolescence, um, after childhood, the first like adultly period of your of of life where you're a young adult, the maiden, um, and still discovering self, still discovering life, discovering nature, the elements, how people. Um, perceive you how you perceive others ex gaining and experience is still very new and fresh that's what I'm feeling here with you there's still regardless of your age you're coming into a period where everything is new and you're getting a new perspective you're seeing things differently um like from like a higher perspective like oh this is what I'm working with and this is what it is and kind of questioning stuff but we have the ace of earth here with this awesome dragon um saying you're very connected and you're guided whether you're fully aware of that or not i want to get more cards here with the light seers tarot um, because Virgo, you have a lot going on internally. You're trying to figure this out, trying to get into equilibrium and balance within yourself. It's going to happen. The more you release Ten of Swords, the Emperor, the World, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Moon. Love it. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so we got our clarifiers here. Those came out fast. So we have the Ten of Swords with the Love card um, in reverse. So this card, especially in this death, this Ten of Swords, um, yeah, a lot to work out and and figure and to figure out to get this information down from spirit to you that's what these birds are kind of representing we're guiding you but the clearness of that hasn't yet manifested but we have this intuition card and the emperor coming up with this intuition card um he did come out in reverse um and it's interesting here. Because again, it's like, it's a trickle instead of a rush of like, you're turning on the intuition, turning on the divine connection. Um, Turning on your connection and and really kind of establishing like, yes, I'm a spiritual person. I'm connected to spirit. I'm getting information. I have, there's more going on. There's more that I can see and feel into. This love card is so telling too. It's like, it's a relationship with self. It's a relationship with, with Mother Earth Gaia. It's the relationship with your own loved ones. It's, it's, this is a, a lot about how you see things and the relationship you have in the world and literally the world card coming up here. It is right side up and it is right side up with the six of cups. So this is definitely coming here. Queen of wands under your seven of swords. Um, so we're balancing this out, this, um, earthly energy and this air energy this um 
grounded energy with and and feeling into like the spirit and magic but also like not wanting to be lost in fantasy and things that aren't real like kind of really like wanting to know what this is all about seven of swords with the maiden Um, and then the moon in reverse, oh, the moon is right side up. I just heard the moon is right side up with the ace of earth, really powerful energy here. This full moon activating really like mark your calendar for this time period between this full moon and this next new moon on the 11th and what will transpire here within you and in your world I feel is going to be pretty significant for you even if it doesn't really manifest in in the 3d if it really doesn't like everybody can see it you'll definitely see it feel it know it and need to put action into it because we have we have this really potent energy for um for action we have the moon card um that is and this is our full moon and we have the moon card really signifying the the fact that we are um being activated right now you're definitely being activated right now. You're being triggered to into your heart space, into your third eye. So you're being triggered with your heart chakra, triggered with your third eye, with intuition and love. Um, the maiden is really signifying you in a um, you really getting to know yourself again this relationship harmony this is speaking to you about you and and you with other significant people in your life and how that's all how that all relates um let's get let's get some crystal cards here Crystal healing cards. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those were fast. We got intention. This card keeps coming up. Intention. We got, wow, reflection. This card just came out last time. Interesting. We got transformation. Wow, big cards here. Intention, reflection, transformation, going within, going within, and moving forward with air. So there's um, pretty intense air energy here, too. Air, actually, air earth and water okay hey <laughs> hi <laughs> you're kind of in my business a little bear is saying hi if i give her kisses she hates that mm -hmm. right um okay so sorry about that transformation here center of your crystal cards is transformation and i really feel that is what's happening transformation coming right in under the world card your world is changing you are changing you are you are releasing what you know and making space for new information, new knowledge coming in through spirit, coming in through your intention and intuition and um, 
going within, reflecting on your life, on your past. So you've been given information or you've seen some stuff recently that you can't really ignore. And you're like, yep, this is about me or yep, this is where I matter. Yep, this is what I've got to do or what I got to figure out or what am I doing moving forward? What's right for me? How do I, how does this all fit into what's already going on? How I feel? I feel like there's a, a big web connected to you. A big web of energy connected to you that a lot of it needs to be released a lot of it needs to be released and you will the clarity the questions will the answers to the questions will come a lot better a lot easier once you reflect once you go within once you have the intention to do these things and to really work on the self really work on your self-love really work on getting to know who you are what your what all makes up of you and your magic because you have a lot of love within you you have a lot of gifts that you have um I even feel here there's a very good possibility you're all you're a natural healer a psychic somebody who's um, really helpful to other people but then gets really frustrated with other people too ah the the life of a healer um <laughs> But mostly, like, what's really, really big here, moving forward, onwards and upwards. Let's, let's move forward. Let's, let's use this air energy to really blow out the past energies and let's see what stays. Like, what's important to really reflect on? What's important to, to work on healing? Um, to work on on transmuting, to work on releasing. What what still pains you? What are you hurt over? Wh who do you still judge? Or who who can you trust? Oh, we got a. I'm still here. We go. Venom. Venom. Let's read about venom. So, so I just jumped right in there. So the archetype cards, um, where is Venom? 191. So these are just the tool cards that it popped out so fast I didn't even get to talk about it. But these are the tool cards for the archetype um, oracle. There's the selves, the places, the initiations or the themes, and then the, um, the tools. And so for these... Um, for these, wait, what was that? Oh, 191. I thought that said 71. I'm like, lies. It's not there. Okay, there's Venom. Sorry about that. Okay, the poison, the curse, the toxin. Much, much to our dismay, the venom is always lurking in the shadows in one form or another. Its toxic presence may be found in our relationships, thoughts, speech, or environment. Thankfully, the cycle of purification and detoxification comes so naturally that it is built into our every exhale. We breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants return it to us as oxygen. Archetypal venom is rarely remedied as easily, however, and it can come in potent forms and quantities that are deeply damaging to us in the world when the venom card appears there is a harmful substance in our psychic realm that must be identified when the venom card appears there is a harmful substance in our psychic realm that must be identified perhaps your words have a sting of poison to them perhaps a relationship is slowly draining your reserves acknowledgement is the first steps change is the second the remedy will reveal itself in time and with it forgiveness so when light self-realization through suffering and when dark unwillingness to find a solution to forgive okay so definitely there has been negativity, toxicity, 
damaging traumatic events that have shaped remember getting back to um to the love and who you are and what you think of yourself and your situation and all that is is determined by your experiences by the energy in your life by what is attached to that and what stays attached to the body and to your to your energy and so this is very clearly saying that there is negative energy attached to you that could be influencing the way that you think the way that you behave the way that you perceive the way that you feel in your very body the pain the the hurt the agony the um, messed up digestive system the bad sleep patterns the um, confusion the fogginess the not having motivation not feeling comfortable anywhere all of these things are a direct result of negative energy in the body um, disrupting the flow of energy um, easily moved with your chakras in a very nice and natural way that it's supposed to so we have blockages here so it is really important for you to consider um, when you go within when you had to trans your transformation is directly tied to the energy within you and your perception and how you can re receive and retrieve information from your um, divine counterparts from your guardian angel from the archangels from those like Gaia and Jesus and Archangel Michael and Merlin and everybody that can come through and work with you and until we have things clear we have blo it's blocked and we don't we can't get all that so i speak to a lot of people um who are like i know that i am um, an empath and a light worker and i am intuitive or psychic but things aren't clear and i feel stuck and i don't know what to do and i feel conflicted and i still feel negative about stuff and i'm still getting over things and all of that this is so common and it's just because our society isn't set up from the time we're children to clear our energy and work with our energy and really deal with experiences and trauma and relationships and love in a certain way so we can have a very skewed perception and enter and 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 fe and feelings about ourselves and others relationships and and just our perception of ourselves and our world can be very um unclear because of everything else that's in there so imagine wanting to like draw the details of a person of a person's face but that face is covered with mud how can you see it clearly to draw it to have the the visage of the person to be there it'll just be a messy it'll it, you can't basically you cannot see clearly when there's muck all over a thing and especially when there's muck all over you and there's muck all over the people around you from you know just energy building up and not clearing and having this experience so what needs to happen is the venom needs to go the toxicity needs to go the negative energy needs to be released and again Azrael coming again over and over release 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 and breathe and um she also talked about with venom you know we we build up carbon dioxide through our breath and we release it we let it go so the breath really coming in here so if you find yourself holding your breath I used to do that a lot. I'd find myself holding my breath because the energy within me was not comfortable and I would just hold my breath. It was a really weird suspension of reality kind of thing because I was chronically ill for most of my life. And so um, because I didn't know who or what I was and my energy or anything about how any of this stuff worked until 10 and 5 years ago in different stages. And so... Um, I would find myself holding my breath a lot. And I know a lot of people do that. They don't even realize they're doing it, but they're doing it. So if you find yourself doing that, this is another good indication. If you get around people and you're spontaneously really tired, um, you yawn or sneeze a lot. And um, this is these are also indications that you're highly sensitive to energy around people. Um, and that's regardless of 
you know, how clear you may be. It, you are more sensitive, the more kind of stopped up you are, the more full you are with energies that are not authentically yours. So you will be more sensitive to that. But you've also found yourself kind of retreating um, and kind of being very picky and choosy about the energy you want to be around. It's because your body is transmuting and but trying to balance out these energies. So Virgo, your advice here is to um, be patient with your process. Be patient with this situation here. Know that you're going through a change, a transformational time, that things are happening, that, that most of any, most of all, I'm being shown this card here, victory. You do have it. It is happiness is on the way. Victory is on the way. Your aha moment, things coming into alignment, you being comfortable in your own skin and knowing your purpose and who you are and all that good stuff is coming remember going with and transformation reflection intention getting rid of the toxicity with the venom um, also see and identify if there's a person in your life that you keep going back to or keeps coming back regardless of how toxic it is how unfair it may be if you have this deep connection with somebody um, think about cord cutting my book um is the important of the importance of cord cutting it's free on my website and it comes with companion meditations to help you release or to take back i should say take back your energy from it from a toxic connection so really think about that um and other than that i would suggest that you find somebody to work with with your energy even if it's just um basic reiki to get things started and flowing within the body to kind of you know kind of shake things off and then you can think about you know going deeper if you're interested or guided to work with me i work worldwide very deep um healing and clearing work that I do and connections um, is kind of my thing. So please check out my website for more information on that and what I could possibly do to help you. And aside from that, I have a ton of information on chakras, energy, negative energy, healing, clearing, my own experience with my own chronic illness and overcoming that. Um, and with that said, beautiful Virgo, I want to wish you a wonderful full moon, um, more power to you in your transformative um, experience that's coming up, your aha moments and all that good stuff. Um, now through the new moon on the 11th of May, don't forget to come back for your monthly reading um, here that will be dropped in a few days. And I look forward to doing those and um, just sending you lots of love for the future you have a lot of support remember deep breaths okay virgo until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now